In this question, the piece of code is provided, and then these options are provided. Here we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. The first line is, if A is greater than B. Since this is a condition, we have to represent it like this. Second and third line is, then C equals to A minus B. This will execute when condition becomes true. So it will be placed like this in flowchart. Now let's see line number 4 and 5. Else, C equals to A plus B. This statement will be executed when condition in line number 1 fails. So it will be placed like this in the flowchart. Now the line number 6 is important, which is and if. And if is used to terminate the if statement, and this is how it is represented in the flowchart. The first condition ends here. Line number 7, read D, is a statement, and it is represented like this. Line number 8 is a condition. If C is greater than D, condition is represented like this on a flowchart. Since this is a condition, we should get minimum two outcomes. If the condition is true, line number 9, print error will be executed. This is how we need to draw a flowchart for it. Since the else part is not mentioned in the code, if condition fails, we should not do anything. And this is how we show it in the flowchart. With this, the second condition ends. Now the flowchart is ready for analysis. We have to find number of test cases required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. Let's first find the number of test cases required for statement coverage. With this path, we can cover three statements. But one statement is not covered, so we need one more test case to cover it. That means we need two test cases to cover statement coverage. And we can see that with the two test case, we can cover all the branches too. That's why option B is correct. Two tests for statement coverage, two for branch coverage.